Ten dot in the cut. All right, cool. Say nothing. Freestyle. Sixteen bars. Suck your mum. Suck your dad. Oh. Your dad's. Ah! Hey, let's no, go. No, you're rubbish. Don't do that. I want to go. La la la. <laughs> Take back to go hard with the flow. They call her Ari, you know. And she got a body, you know. But she ain't a Barbie, you know. No Nicki Minaj wanna be just a Nubian queen. Pretty fine Nubian, Galloway too cool for them. Dark skin beauty, shine like jewelry. So calm and beauty like a movie. Cause it's her duty to provide you content, entertain you. Like and subscribe, cause she's a whole vibe. I have a few bars, but I'm gonna like them. You know what you've been writing bars and that's it. I'm gonna be writing a freestyle thing there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bomber club. Look at all of that, fam. What the fuck is No, that? but you know what I do? When a guy pisses me off, yeah. When a guy pisses me off, what I do is that I go in my notes because I'm not about to send no nigga no fucking paragraph. So I go in my notes, yeah, and I write down everything I want to say to him. And when once I write down everything I want to say to him, I just close my notes. Do you know what I mean? It's a it's an it's a way for me to just relieve everything because when it comes to men, it goes in one ear and out the other. Do you understand? And that's actually the topic today. Men and how men are so fucking entitled. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariade. If you guys are new here and you haven't already pressed that subscribe button, make sure you press that subscribe button because obviously that's how I measure my growth. Do you know what I mean? That's how YouTube measure my growth. So it'd be very, very much appreciated. Yeah, like I've been just all over the place this quarantine. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I feel like 2020 has been one of the worst years of my life. So I feel like 2020 has been so mad to the point here yeah, where like I've actually signed up for a dating website. Dating websites are quite unserious, do you know what I mean? I feel like men have come on a dating website which has been advertised for you to find love looking for a quick beat. You know, I just think that's weird. Like, men have ruined dating websites for women like me who want something serious, who want to sit, settle down or find something, you know. I'm not dating for experience. I'm not dating. I've done that. I've, I've done all of that. I've done all of that. I'm dating for marriage now. But um, the dating website that I signed up for was Hinge. I feel like Hinge is a bit more better for, I guess, um, black women that are interested in black men, um, rather than, I guess, your Tinders where you've got to swipe through every Tom, Dick and Harry before you find your Tyrone. I'm dating. <laughs> and it's just made me realise that like, men are seriously fucking mad and they're so entitled. I don't understand why men think after two little sentences, I'm going to leave my house for you. What makes you think I'm going to, you know, spend two hours to doll up and get ready for three fives in a bottle? <laughs> no. This whole quarantine and things being shut has just allowed men to be more lazy and has given them an excuse to be a little bit more lazy. What is so wrong with putting effort in a girl? I just feel like men, like, it's gotten to a point where, like, they really, really do feel like women are just there for their own sexual pleasure. It's like, okay, cool. Which one can I beat? Which one can I be beat? How quickly can I beat this one? How quickly can I beat that one? Like, a lot of men are actually disrespectful in their approach. I've heard men, like, say some mad crazy things about girls, and I'll be thinking to myself, like, excuse me? How dare you? The audacity to look like that and expect so much is a bit mad. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, she needs to act her face. She needs to act her face. A lot of guys are not acting their face. Like, you sat down there and you've looked at all the girls inside the room and you've said, all right, cool, this one don't deserve a date, that one don't deserve a date, that one don't deserve a date. Oh, this one, yeah, she, she, she's good enough for a date. I feel like regardless of what your intention is with a woman, every single girl is entitled to a date. That like, are oh, because they bought this or they bought that for you, that they, they feel automatically feel like they're entitled to your body. And I feel like men, it's become so mad here to the point where, like, guys are like, oh, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to take a girl out because I don't want to be called free Chinese. My nigga, it's, it's free Chinese. It's Chinese. It's just the meal, like, the same way you pattern that meal for your boy, or you'll pattern that meal for your friend, like, it's not that deep. Men are thinking that they that you should pop, pop the pussy open for them, yeah, because you bought them chicken chow mein. I just think it's mad that we've gotten to the point where guys, like, they will wine and dine a girl, they will take a girl out with ill intentions, like, they'll be like, oh, do you know what, like, this one, yeah, she's looking for something serious, let me take her out, let me wine and dine her, let me pretend to be someone that I'm not, let me, let me promise her the world, everything like this, and then, like, basically, just to whack bum, you know, just to whack bum, after that first date, or those two dates that that girl has gone on, after that, that girl, all she's seen is his four walls, 
Why has she only seen his full walls? I'll tell you one thing about guys here. If you're a very saucy guy, you do not have to lie to get pussy. We live in 2020, do you understand? We live in a very sexually liberated, free society where women are allowed to explore their sexual bodies. Women are allowed to go out there and be like, yeah, I like dick, I like this, I like that, do you understand? There's women out there that will beat you for nothing. You don't even have to spend your one pound. I just feel like dating in 2020, as I keep saying, is extremely hard. And that's because of men and their false hopes their lies everything like that and you guys know i hate men in it like i'm a very on this men are trash wavelength sort of thing you guys are gonna hear me bitch about men a lot if you guys want to bitch about men with me too make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can bitch about them together because men ain't shit even the other day one guy he messaged me on snapchat everything was calm i can't remember what happened but he must have been like to me do you think you're cassie i must have had i must have had an expectation and he must have been like to me do you think you're Cassie? I could have hit him back with, do you think you're Trey Songz? Because my nigga, very far from, do you understand? And I just thought to myself, it's so mad yeah, that we live in a society where men think it's okay to humble women just because they're not attracted to them. If they don't rate them a 10, or if they don't rate them an eight, then, and they rate them a two, then in their eyes, they need to act like a two. Oh, she's dead. She's not acting her face. Uh, da, da, da. Like, excuse me, have you even acted your face? You haven't even fucking looked inside the mirror. If you looked in the mirror that morning, you wouldn't have had the confidence you had to open your mouth yeah, and tell a woman to act her face. Because to be honest, your face looks like your 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 foot. <laughs> Cassie's your type. Go for Cassie. Why are you here? You're coming for one chocolate dark, as I said, newbie and fit queen, yeah. But Cassie's what you want. You need to go and find yourself a Cassie. Because I'm very sure you wouldn't tell Cassie to humble herself. And that's my issue. Guys will always tell girls, yeah to humble themselves why is it because i don't have 50k on my on my instagram i need to humble myself it's so mad that people feel like you can't be confident with yourself just because you don't have some sort of social media following you don't have clout you're not bait or because you're not a celeb like there are confident people in the world that are happy with themselves they're happy with the way they look they're happy with the amount of money that's in their account and you know what i even hate i even hate using them analogies and putting it inside a position of if you had a little sister because i just feel like it's basic normal standard human rights you should never try and tell anyone to humble themselves do you understand like i also had another experience this year where like a, my friend she had like a really shit experience with a guy they beat that's the truth they beat this guy came to come and message me on a sliding on socials he was like oh like i've done something with your friend this this and that like but this is me come to come and, like so i should say thank you like <laughs> you're more my vibe i'm not gonna lie you know i had something with your friend should i say thank you i just thought to myself are you fucking stupid out of all the fishes inside the world you want to come and holler, holler me you want to come holler me i just think men are mad like he must have thought, oh, Ra, like, she's so shit of, shit of a friend that she would do this to her friends. And I, that didn't run with me. I'm going to do a story time about all the guys that we've sent to, to Camberwell, do you know what I mean? Just for bants. All the guys we've sent to Woolwich, just for bants. Yeah. The same way it's fucking funny that you kids come and DM me is the same way it's so fucking funny that you're doing mileage. Do you understand? Even if it's small mileage, I'm happy. Like, I even had another experience like, oh, you're more my vibe, you're more for me, or I wish I saw you first, wish I moved to you first, wish I took you out instead of. And I just think that is an audacity thing for me because what do you want to say? Do you want to say, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. You find me attractive. Thank you. No, I'm going to tell you to suck your mum. <laughs> period sorry technical difficulties and i've also stayed in my top it is what it is do you understand i can't kill myself it's 2020 do you know what i mean the pandemic's already stressed me you're gonna have to deal with me like this i'm not gonna lie there's one question that guys ask me and automatically when they ask me i'm straight away on the defense when you're cooking for me can you cook why don't you come over let's cook something no i don't want to cook anything I want to go to your yard and so everything's prepared for me or you're ordering or something like that or i want to go out do you understand i'm not cooking for you there's absolutely no way i'm cooking for any man that's not my man and i feel like it's so mad that women are out there cooking for men that are not their man full course meal for what for what that <laughs> why i was watching a film the other day it was think like a man yeah and you know the intro kevin hart is on the intro and he's basically talking about oh how um back in the days like the men used to you know want to marry women put ring on their finger do all of those things yeah because it would get them to the cookie jar like, men aren't like proposing to women anymore because they're having their cake and they're eating it too like, obviously we live in a very out there society now where people could do what they want yeah but like when are we gonna actually stop when are we gonna say enough is enough when are we gonna 
like withdraw and hold things back in guys sort of fill them out try and see what sort of guy they are trying to understand their intention because i'm telling you that's how you will know how to tread with whichever guy that's how you know how to act with a spe specific sort of guy and how to act with that guy some things you do with a specific guy you can't do that with another guy even simple things like buying snacks you can't be buying snacks for everyone <laughs> You can't be buying snacks for everyone. Most girls, like, we want to be wined and we want to be dying. Like, we want to go to your house and we want everything to be said. We want you to... If it's just a normal standard chink... Chink... Chink up. Chill link up. Chink up. <laughs> if it's a normal standard chill session, link up sort of thing, like, there's still a lot of effort that goes into that. Like, I'm one of those people that when people come over, I don't want people to ask me for things and it not be there. Do you understand? So I make sure I've got the snacks. I make sure I've got the drink. I make sure I've got everything. Do you understand? So I appreciate that when it's done with the other party. Dating is so simple now. Quarantine has made dating very simple. Quarantine has made men very lazy. So it's just like all these small little things that can make a difference. Why can't you just do them? Oh, like you're on the way to someone's house and you're like, oh, do you want anything to eat? Do you want a snack? Do you want something? All of those things are appreciated. There was one time where I was like to someone, oh, like, do you want, do you want anything? Should I grab anything? And he was like, yeah, actually, yeah, grab anything, grab anything. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll grab the munchies, do you know what I mean? Whatever. All right, cool. Can you get water too? Oh yeah, you might as well get the bottle as well. Excuse me? <laughs> That's what I have to say. That's what I have to say. Men are mad. That's it, period. But anyways, guys, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get, you know, notified every single time I upload a new video because I don't upload them enough. <laughs> make sure you press that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time i upload a new video and like if you've liked this video make sure you press that like button do you understand make sure you comment in that comment section below let me know what dumb shit you want me to do like i'm all on, all on this like let's let's just do dumb shit like let's do dumb challenges let's do it let's do it like just send me bare stuff in my comments let me know that you guys fuck with me let me know that you guys fuck with this video tell a friend to tell a friend share my video tell your nan fam tell your nan like why not tell your dads no, don't tell your dads I, 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 I still no i'm so joking i'm joking i wreck homes no i'm joking <laughs> Take back to go hard with the flow They call her Ari, you know And she got a body, you know But she ain't a barber, you know No Nicki Minaj wanna be Just a Nubian queen Pretty fine Nubian Galloway too cool for them